Knowing so often we have these epic guard matchups, and tonight it's all about the front courts and not the back court. But nonetheless, it should be fun. <laughs> no doubt, Kevin. These front courts are big. They're dynamic. They're physical. A number of these guys can shoot it from great range. This should be one heck of a show. one up gets to the rim for two with the D all over him well that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim just too much of a differential in terms of size to the inside it's blocked over to the left wing off target from three-point range And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. About one minute into the first. To the wing right side. Shot clock at six. That one doesn't drop. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Oh, that's blocked. And that one ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Two on the clock. That one off the back iron and out. Gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That free throw, no good. That one misses. Gone just 1 of 4 to get this game started. down low and the powerful one-handed slam well not exactly one of those big burly power forwards right he depends on his leaping ability more than those guys and it serves them just fine to the left wing and he drops in the way up off the glass and once he got to the 10 i think he was surprised to find himself that wide open and I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Knocks it loose. Here's the lob to the hoop. The tray. It's not going to go for him. Gone two for four from the field so far today. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Just three to shoot. 17 foot shot on the way. Bank shot, no good. Misses that one. He's made one and missed two this game so far. 
And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. There's the triple. Unable to get that one. Being well off their usual numbers, around 29% so far. Can't get the bucket from 20 feet out. Gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. One fifty-eight left to play here in the first. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a path to the hoop, and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. This guy, a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, the defender all over him. First free throw is good. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. And uh, 101 left here in the opening quarter. That one wide left gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. 34 seconds left to play in the first. Steps back and fires. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. 19 seconds left here in the first quarter. Shoots a fader, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. And knocking down shots in the mid-range area really forces teams to have to adjust their defense. Well, truth is, though, he's tall enough to get that off against anyone. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. They're up by two. And we'll get things started in the second. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. You can't get that one. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. 
Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. Greg, we know from time to time things get pretty chippy out there. What kind of things would get under your skin when you played in the NBA? Oh, you know, guys tended to talk a little trash. And that could rattle you. That, that could bother you at times. But you really just tried to maintain your focus and keeping your eye on the prize. Pulls it up. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And that one misses. Got a piece of it. And he knocks down the first one. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, 50% from the floor. Second quarter of basketball. Just over a minute and a half played. <laughs> And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the first one drops. He's perfect from the line this time. Being only 31%, their offense really struggling to put possessions together. Chin shot. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. And he banks in the layup. He's got six. And he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low. Really difficult for them to defend. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Oh, no good on the three. Got his hand out enough on that one to bother the three-point attempt. Great hustle on that one. You know, we talk about this time and time again. Trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. Gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. <laughs> Tries to keep it alive. It's three on three on the fast break. Lots of room. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. Beyond the arc. Drills it from outside. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. And momentum going the other way. Can, can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play.
and he can't extend the lead to double digits. You can see he just rushed that a little bit. Lost the focus, I think. Got a piece of it. One fifty-two left to play in the first half, and it's blocked. Lock at six. Trying to end the drought. Does not score again. That's his fourth miss against one mate. On the left block, got a hand on it. One twelve left now here in the second. Into the lane. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 103 left in the second quarter. Stolen away. He's all alone. Finished off the break. He's got seven. Now, I tell you what, they won't be down for long if they can get some more early offense like that. All sorts of time. Basket counts. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? Gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Plays it up off the glass. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. seconds left. Green for two points. Working against size, he's just crafty enough to carve out some wiggle room. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid-range, but sometimes you just gotta put it in the basket. And some good action through the first two quarters. We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Just 33% struggling to get good looks. Knocked away. Hits the jumper in space. He's got nine. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Takes a three, and he's good on the three ball. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Get 
to the paint, and he converts the layup. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible, and boy, that's a terrific start right there. Let's it go from 11, and he recovers it. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Thing has been terrific. 54% on the game. To the middle. Inside. Shot clock at three. Drops it in from 14 feet away. He's got 10. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Good timing. Uh, they're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. They get a hand on it. Here we go, all alone. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You, you lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. On the free throw, no good. Gone two of four here to start the second eight. Tires from deep. Doesn't go for him. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. And really, this is the time to push it. Try to extend that lead. You know, they can make things much easier on themselves in the fourth if they just have a few more possessions like that. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Poked away. Lays it up and banks it in. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency. Shooting the lights out in this quarter. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And catching the defense flat-footed and taking full advantage. Big bucket there to extend the lead. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. From deep, he's now made half of those 10 shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. Five on the clock. And here's the fast break. That one falls. He's got 10. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Five to shoot. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Uh, I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Good on both. There's 117 left here in the third quarter. Watch the screen.
poked loose. Driving the lane. Get him! Get him! Six on the shot clock. 16 feet away. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. And that goes out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. impressively throughout at 62 percent he can't get it to go gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half no good there it's good he's got eight gone one of three from downtown since halftime free throw line jump shot Another shot, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. And he makes both free throws. There's 10 seconds left to play in the third. On the money from 12 feet away. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. That is the competitiveness he brings to the table. Every night you're going to get great effort from him. Take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Tipped away. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. It's impressive. The level of domination at both ends, and you're seeing the results. You know this. It's not easy building a lead on the road, but this team has been lights out throughout the game. Just five on the clock. Got it off in time and beat the shot clock, but it's no good. Puts it up from 12, and that one, good. Being fantastically in this game, 62% from the floor. Fourth quarter now, we're about a minute and a half in. And that's going to be out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. So both teams making some changes here. Now off the inbound. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And the first one at the line is good. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And so he makes both from the line. And turnovers have been the issue for him. You can see the coaches have gotten into him a little bit about this. They've got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. 
knocked loose. He's off from 17 feet. Gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. That's not going to go for him. It's his sixth miss. He's five for 11. Off target with his three. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. No good on that one. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. First one falls for him. So he gets them both. To the paint. Off on the layup. We get a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. Here's the teardrop. Yep, it counts. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Six to shoot. Right wing. And that one hits back iron. Gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First one falls. Both teams will make substitutions. Both shots good from the strike. The visitors with the ball. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Launches it. That one, no good. A three ball. Buries it from three-point range. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Being an outstanding 53% for the game. 152 left in the fourth quarter. Baseline try. That shot, no good. Gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Misses in close. One twenty five left in the fourth quarter. To end the drought. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And he makes the first. So both teams changing it up here. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. One oh three left to play in the final quarter. A shot from 20 feet away. A shot off that time. Yeah, and listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Pass to Takoto. And it's tonight. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's the 
Here's Sato. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Not an easy finish right there, but a beautiful move to give himself just enough space to get in close and knock it down. Nine seconds left in the game. The visiting club takes the win on the road. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And that's going to do it tonight, folks.